Hello there, this is Fimo from Talent Brand. I hope you're well. Today we're going to be looking at launching your products and services. Once you get to that stage where you, you're happy with what you're, what you're about to be selling, is that your product or your service, and you want to push them out there to the market, eight things you need to consider, you need to think carefully before you launch your product. The number one thing is you need to be strategic. Find and understand your core audience, your customers. Who are they? Where are they located? What is their age bracket? Bracket? What? What is their income? What kind of profession do you do, 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 are they into? Um, and you also need to look at them from psychographic point of view. What are their vision? What are what are their values? Uh, what do they believe in? What do they you know? What what do they have empathy for? You you want to know all this information because you want to be able to know. Who are my targeted audience? How can I connect with them? Where can I find them? Once you are able to answer these questions, you know where they are and you know how to reach out to them. The number three thing is don't be ordinary. You agree with me that there's nothing that you're selling, whether products or services that nobody else, that somebody else is not selling. So it's not just you. So what makes you different? What makes you to stand out in the midst of this giant brand and any other person doing similar thing like you is for you to be extraordinary. So you need to look for your superpower to make your product or services unique from others. The number four thing is build your super fans. Just before you push your products into the market, ensure that you have you you, you started building your super fan. I always uh, have this with uh, in my coaching experience. I I speak I say this to to my client that it's very very important before. Uh, the moment you start thinking, start building your business, start creating your fans, start creating uh, your community, you know, uh, pushing your products out without first building a community of super fan will, you know, who will vouch for it, doesn't really want it. So they have to be there and so that when you launch your product, they are there to vouch for your product. They will have known you, they will have known a bit about your products and services. The number five thing is to validate your products is very, very important. And this is uh, an area that uh, a couple of my clients, they find really hard to deal with, but it's very, very important. Do a research, do a survey about your products and services to validate, to, 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 uh, to, to confirm, to affirm that yes, people really need this. Do people really need this solution that I'm providing? And how can you do that? You can carry out a survey to ask about that particular product or services that you're offering. And this is why it's important for you to build your fan, uh, for you to join the community group in your local area, uh, join group on, on Facebook or social media generally, uh, the uh, groups that you know that you can relate with, that can relate with what you're about to start selling or uh, promoting. So uh, you can do a survey ask questions about their products and services and hear the feedback, hear what they say. This will affirm what you're thinking, probably, oh, is it going to be, you know, does this my products or, or, or services? Is this what people need? So that will really, really help. It's very, very important and this must be done. So number six thing is know your, competi your competitors. It's not just about knowing them for competition's sake, it's about you be knowing how to be to differentiate yourself, to be unique. That is how you can stand out. The number seven thing is create a free trial or demo. This is absolutely important. So creating a free trial, uh, trial or product demo is a critical stage of any product or services before you want to, you know, if you want to get much feedback and, uh, you know, before the official launch of your product, you need to do this. And while creating the free trial and demo, you can as well attach a price to it. Uh, I, 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 I mean, doing this, you just you doesn't have to. You don't have to charge as one hundred percent. Just charge a little bit so that while you're doing your demo, while you're validating your product, you're see, you're getting paid as well. So if it's something you sell for say one hundred quid, you can sell it for. 50 quid or 40 quid, you get feedback from them. It helps you to move to the next level and it also validates your product as well. And the last thing is bring an ambassador into your business. 
once you get to this point where you're launching your business especially on the official day of when you want to launch your business bring people who whose interests align with your interests and bring them to your show bring them to the launch of your business or product even after the launch you can still bring them in you collaborate with them these days there's nothing like you know competition doesn't rain again we now have co you know co-creation collaboration and bring you know the people who are already doing the same thing that you're doing bring them into your business they, they, they it's just kind of you know make people to beginning to trust even at that very very early stage of you launching your business i hope this tips has helped uh, in a way uh if you have further questions please feel free to re reply to this uh message or chat and i'll be happy to 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 support you in any way i will actually put my contact details at the bottom of this video so that you can contact me directly have a nice day